Hey everyone and welcome back to God of War. On this video we're going to be doing the favor Second Hand Soul. And favors are just side quests. Now in order to access this side quest we're going to have to progress our main quest just a little bit further and that main quest objective information has updated. The nice witch drew protection staves on us and showed us a way to reach the mountain by boat. Row towards daylight she said. So we're right in front of the boat let's do this. Now we'll get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here. And all of us. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods. Not even my own beds. You are not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that! It's Thor! Thor, god of thunder. That's right! I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh, that sounds like Baldur. Baldur. An Aesir god. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? Uh, okay. What is that? Is that a wall? Made out of... What are those? Don't answer that. I think I see something. Just sitting there in the middle of a lake. I see rooms there. This chest. Can't quite make it out. It reads. Sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? did not return. way over there. See that? And there's a statue of Thor. Except I can see a lot more of him now. The water dropped and the serpent rose. Oh, that must be why the beach wasn't there before. See? And there's the mountain. Look it. That building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. 
Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it in who knows how long. You know that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Look pretty big to me. Map markers. Map markers indicate points of interest on the map and can be filtered by category. Press L2 or R2 to show map markers by category. Press R3 to cycle between actively trapped, uh, tracked map markers. So we have information on the map here. You can see we're now in the Lake of Nine. Um, when you highlight an area, it shows the uh, completion percentage you have. Um, but don't worry about that at the moment, because like if we go to the first area, you'll see it's 55%. I didn't actually miss anything. I just can't, couldn't collect all of the stuff that is there at that point in the game. So we have to go back later and get the rest. And we've got a new codex entry under the bestiary. The World Serpent. We just woke up the World Serpent of Midgard. Father thought he was going to try and eat us, but Mother always said Jormungandr was a friendly giant. He tried speaking to us, but I couldn't understand him. I wonder if that's the language all the giants speak. He doesn't seem very interested in us right now. I wish I could talk to him. I have so many questions. Where did he come from? What does he do all day? What does he eat? Maybe we can find another way to talk to him. How long do you think this has been here? A very long time. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. Have I got something for you, too? Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. <sighs> what do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. Well, he sets up shop quick. It was like a minute at most. You rust around like that everywhere? Yeesh. Catch! The pile of rocks there? With that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mountain in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. Yeah. I don't see us wanting that. Okay, what's good? Dwarven shop. Talismans, pommels, and enchantments are now available at shops. Upgrade armor. Armor, along with other equipment, can be upgraded at shops. Press right on the D-pad to select the upgrade menu. Upgrading armor improves its stats, power level, and can add enchantment sockets. Alright, so while I'm here, let's craft some wrist armor. We're gonna get the borehide bracers. Big with the pride. We're also going to make the boar hide belt. Safe bruiser boy. And Atreus armor. I'm good there. I don't want to make anything for him yet. X pommels. Weapon pommels. Pommels can be equipped on your weapon. Each pommel will increase stats and provide unique perks based on your actions in combat. Pommels can be upgraded to improve their stats. Um, so we have a variety of stats here. That one does a blessing of. Oh, high perk activation chance to grant a blessing of cooldown on any successful precision throw. So based on what you do in combat, you can activate different perks. Um, however, I'm going to be getting a pommel very soon from this quest, actually. So uh, I'm not going to buy any of these. 
Talismans. Talismans have unique effects that can aid you in combat. They can be upgraded at the shop to improve their effectiveness and reduce cooldowns for certain abilities. Um, so we have a talisman of resolute protection that will give you an invincible barrier for several seconds when your health drops to a critical level. Sounds good. I tried it. It wasn't really that handy. And we also have the talisman of resolute might grants a short burst of strength when you're at critical level. Also nice but didn't come in handy that much. If I'm low, if I'm that low, I would like a strength boost for a long time, not just for a short burst. So I didn't really find a use for it. Uh, upgrade. We could upgrade his quiver, reduce the Talon Bow's arrow recharge time, although I don't use it that much. So that's a lot of hack silver for something I don't need. So let's not do that. Let's upgrade the wrist, though. Yeah, go scuff that up. And we'll also upgrade the waist. Probably get some bitch. And I uh, could upgrade my talisman, but I don't have dust of realms. I need four of those. And we have enchantments. Vitality enchantment, cooldown enchantment, runic, and luck. I'm gonna put a vitality enchantment in one of those pieces I bought. And then I'm going to be finding an enchantment relatively soon, so I'll wait to slot that one in. So let me just throw that enchantment in uh, this piece, I guess. Doesn't really matter which. And that's marked as new. Let me just get rid of that, and we're good. We have a Mystic Gateway over here. I don't know if I need to activate it, but I may as well, just in case. And that's the only one we have. All right, we're out of here. So at this point in the game, it really opens up. If you continue straight, you'll continue on the main quest or you can get in the boat and explore these different towers and islands and various other places. And there's lots of, uh, quests and things you can do um, so we're going to be doing some of those some of those are higher level so we'll save them for later but we'll do a little exploring and of course we're going to be doing that side quest favor hey that could be valuable abandoned ship a new artifact set exploring the lake of nine we found this beautiful figurehead it may be all that's left of a ship that once went on great adventures i wonder if there are more among these wrecks and, and beaches maybe brock would give us some hack silver for them and if you find them all, you get 615 experience. When the water dropped, new beaches were exposed. We should search them for resources. All right, so over here is the Velander Chasm, which is where we're going to get our quest. Well, we're going to get it in the Velander Mines, which are just past it. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Should we dock on this beach? And here we are at the Velander Mines with the Mystic Gateway. Once again, not sure if you have to activate these, but I'm going to do it anyway. And now we have two. All right, and we have a Odin's eye right there. Got him. Or eye of Odin, I guess. And then up above, right there is some treasure. Two hundred and sixty-nine hex silver. Come.
And we got some steel and something new, World Serpent huh. Scale Fragments. Hmm. This is good to know. And Vari's Invention. Through this path lies the mines of Velander. This great endeavor was made possible by Anvari the Alchemist, son of Vivaldi, through whose ingenuity the very stone and bedrock was turned from obstacle to mighty tool of industry. A dwarven miner's greatest fear has always been running afoul of the ancients, but through Anvari's genius, they are now no more than tools in our righteous undertaking. A new age for dwarves dawns here. No mere miners, but masters of iron, whose greatest craft is the future itself. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. How'd you get here? What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Velander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. All right, we got our favor. Oops. Second hand soul. Find Brock's friend, or what's left of him. Brock just asked us to find his alchemist friend, Anvari, at the Velander Mines. Father isn't big on helping people for no reward, but Brock did just give us the entry stone to the mines. Maybe we should look into it? And the rewards are a rare pommel and 3,290 experience. Let's go ahead and track that. The Velander Mines is right through these doors. Might as well have a look-see inside, don't you think? I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. Say, uh, you didn't happen to run yourself a foul of a scruffy fella. About yay high, doesn't feel pain, sounds drunk, but probably just slow. <laughs> hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted Aesir business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fighting pit. Or a fighting brothel. Uh, did he say Aesir? Like gods? No. Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. Can you read it? Uh, these runes read death inside. An ominous warning. Death inside. This must be old. There's plenty of death outside, too. So, Brock said his friend was dwarven, like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. Dwarven, but no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. We got some steel and more of those World Serpent Scale Fragments.
That's the soul leader. If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no after ever. It does not attack. Ah. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. Alright, so, see that uh, explosive jar over there? You're going to want to hit that pretty much right as you land, and it's going to make this next fight much, much easier. Wait for it. There. Nope. Oh, so, those flying things, what they do is possess nearby enemies, and when they're possessed, they get constant healing and are basically unkillable. But we stopped him. Oh, and that dude just buffed up. All right, so we got another of these. Oh, but I think it's possessing. Yep. Oh, and it possesses the charged up one. That sucks. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, also, when they're possessed, they seem to uh, get new attacks. So just be aware of that. They might be tougher than normal. Oh no! Oh, I did not want to waste that here. That is not good. Maybe I can save some of it. Nope, it's gone. Dang it! I did not want to use my Spartan Rage there. I wanted it up ahead. Oh well. That's what I get for pressing the wrong buttons. Not him. Hey, I thought you didn't care. I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Oh. But anyways, you probably couldn't tell because I just obliterated that guy in Spartan Rage, but once an enemy is possessed, you've got to fill their stun meter to get that uh, creature out of it, and then you can kill it. But just kill it quickly because it'll try to repossess either the same enemy or another one, and then you're back at square one. Alright, drop the shield. Nope, drop that poison, but we're good. I've learned to be patient with these. As long as you're patient, you block, you'll be good. Nope, not gonna charge up on me. Ow. Oh, oh, see, I wasn't patient. I tried to force the issue and I got myself hit. No charge. Did I do okay? You will improve with practice. Alright, where am I? I'm a little turned around. Alright, let me use my talisman. Get a little bit of health. I think that might be the first time I've used it. As you can see, it doesn't give much health, but every little bit helps. And with this, back to full health. We're not gonna find Brock's friend alive, are we? All right, you can see there's a uh, door that's sealed over there. We'll be working on that. And actually, one of the seals. Is right there. We got more of these things. However, they have nothing to possess. Oh, he's in trouble now. Got him. Look here. 
Yes, sir. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a treasure map! It's our first treasure map! Dead and bloated. The troll who killed my kin is slain, but the battle has taken its toll. I've buried whatever I have left near his corpse. Ingrid and I used to frequent this beach to watch the sun rise over the temple. Uh, the rewards are a rare enchantment, an oblivion stone, whatever that is, five soft Svartalfheim steel, and 6,000 hex silver. What's that red thing? Hmm. Compass area markers. When the compass turns gold, an objective is somewhere in the area. Search the area for clues. Thousand six hundred and fifty seven hack silver, nice. All right, where was that second seal? There it is. Let's see, was there anything up here? Nope. All right, don't blow up these explosive barrels, they uh, might come in handy. Well, I guess explosive jars. Interesting. Alright, and I believe we got everything. Yep, okay. So our last seal is in here. Take the ring! On that severed hand! Attached to the soul eater. Well. We know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. That seems like a good reason to me. All right, our last seal is right here. And prepare for a fight. Uh oh okay, good. I was worried he was gonna get uh, off of possession before I, I killed it, but I got it. Watch out for that. All right, so we're working on this dude. Oh, big friend's coming in. Watch out. Ah, uh, no, not gonna be able to stop that. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, what? There wasn't even an indicator for that. He wasn't even going for me. Oh, well. Alright, well. He's not giving me many openings, or any. But I'll get him. If not in melee, then with my axe. Or, well, if not in... My axe either way, right? But... If not in melee, then it ran. Well, that was cool. Uh, let's move over here. Oh, right there. Oh, it didn't work. Watch out for that. Whoa. All right, I cannot let him buff or he's going to be super nasty. He's super nasty, even without the buff. Did I get him? Nope. Got him now. Alright, uh, next we'll get the range dude up top. Alright. What do we have left? We got this guy. Use my talisman. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Now he charged. Dang it, I just wanted to heal. Hey, 
Hey, don't you hit my kid. Uh, nope, not gonna get that off. I tried. Ah, you guys need to separate. Let's see if I can get the kid to get his attention, the big guy. Oh god! <laughs> Whoa! Dead. Alright, what do we got now? Two over there. Alright, just try not to damage the other one so I don't have to deal with another. Powered up one and of course I damaged it right there. Oh, you know what I should do? This! Oh, he's like, oh, I see. He was floating and frozen, so he was floating super slow. It's interesting. All right, well, just these two left. And I actually have Spartan Rage, but I want to save that for in a little bit. Maybe I should, oh, actually, hit that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, put my axe away. We need to get him stunned so we can get that stupid creature out. Get out of there! Of course, you had to inhabit this guy. Get out of there! There we go. Nope, don't let him repossess. Got him. All right, we're in business. Eat this. Well, this is going to take a little while. Chipping away. Trying to use my kid more. It's hard to press the buttons while I'm worried about dodging, though. I guess he does help a little bit. I wish he'd shoot on his own. Why is he waiting for me? I don't want to tell you when. Just shoot. Finish him. I'm out of breath. All right, uh, we got the final seal, so we're good. Let's move on. supposed to kill something made of rock be strong Atreus stay focused and look for a weak point yes sir oh we got healing up here if I need it I don't think I can come back up though once I engage but after let's wait for him to move a little farther away I don't like him that close Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement. All right, here we go. All right, so those pieces came out. You grab them, and then you throw them. Oh. Huh. I should have actually gotten them there. There we go. Uh, there we go. All right, so then you go in. 
And you hit him. You punch him in his face. Well, his stomach face. No, I only got one. I don't think that's going to be enough. Well, no, not enough. Ah, being bad. Did I even get any? I don't think I did. No, oh, I did get one. Ah, I didn't get over there quick enough. Alright, I need to kill his buddy though. Well, maybe not. You kill his buddy with an explosion. Ah! What? How did I miss? Right, anyways, buddy's close. Maybe here? Oh, I missed! Ha <laughs> ha! Terrible. Oh man, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm being awful. Alright, let's just kill the friend. Have that. Oh, whoops. I didn't see who was done. Oh, no, I'm dumb. This is the worst I've ever done on him. But as you can see, he's not a difficult boss, so. He's quite easy. Although, if you do as badly as I'm doing, you might make him difficult. There we go. Killed his friends. Oh, jeez. Didn't get him yet. Let me heal up with my talisman. Alright, he's down. Oh, and he's dead. Alright, well, that was terrible, but it worked. I can't believe it. Believe it. You are stronger than you know. Thank you, Father. Let's see if that's the alchemist ring. Rare enchantment increases resist resistance to burn damage by 20%, stacks up to 60% max. Hmm, burn damage could be good to be resistant to. What is this? Ring. Alchemist ring. Dwarvish inscription. The alchemist. But where's the rest of him? Ashes, most likely. The Soul Eater got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. Green ring belonging to Brock's friend, Anvari. Brock will probably want to give this a look. Whoops, I didn't mean to smash that. Oh well. Uh, but yes, um, normally you just... Get him stunned like two times and then you finish him off, but I, I did it the hard way. <gasps> what is this? Fury of the Ice Troll, a light runic attack. A quick radial shockwave attack that slows enemies and sends them flying back. Hmm, maybe. Two damage, two frost, one stun, 40 second cooldown. I think I'll use it. Let's do it. Alright. Uh, there was healing back there. I should probably go grab it. If I can get back up, which I can't. Alright, that's fine. Um. Oh, I'm done. I don't know why it made me command him there, but okay. What does it say? Sir.
These runes were written fast. It spells out Ejim Staney. Hmm. In the jewel? Ejim Staney. If this is a message from Envari, what does he mean? Is it something about the ring we found on his hand? Let's ask Brock. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. Take him down! Ooh, I like that new runic attack. Oh, he's freaking... How... How in the world is he... It... Huh. He got possessed, but I don't know when. Maybe he was possessed right at the beginning. Well, let me put my axe away then. I'm gonna need to do more stun damage. Ah! This thing is fast! Get out of there! I could have blown that up, but I don't know if it would have killed him. Oh my god! Alright, I can't do this, so you have to. Good, get out of there. Get away from me. You're going flying. Oh, no, you're not. You're not flyable. How about this? Oh, never mind. You can fly. Why weren't you flying before? What do we got now? Oh, another one. Can I get him over here? At the flaming thing? I don't understand why sometimes they don't fly. Over the edge. Ha 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 ha. It is over. Perfect. Well, I may as well blow it up. Oh, nice to use my talisman. It does come in handy. Little heals here and there. Need to be using it more, though. I could be at full health. Alright, and that's all that's back here. You can keep going, but it'll just take you right back to pre-zipline. We got more enemies. Is that one of those fast ones? No, those are ranged. But we've got this! Oh, that was sick. I like that combo. The freezing blast and then the whatever blast I just got those put together is so much damage all right I thought there was something in here but I guess not All right, and look where we are, back where we started. Huh. 
What'd you find? Your alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And, well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxy. Grip of Velander. Rare Axe I'll Pommel. Take a Very. closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside before he croaked. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. Rare Axe Pommel. Very low perk activation chance to grant protective barrier, preventing damage from enemy attacks on any successful axe hit. Holy crap, that's amazing. Yes, yes, I want that. Oh, I had a grip. Oh, never mind, I was already equipped. Ooh, and it's got seven or six strength and six defense. It's a level three grip. Yes, yes, this is fantastic. Let's put that in. And oh, I'm getting close to level two. Getting there. Dwarven favor complete. Second hand soul. All right, he doesn't have anything else to say. Do I want to get more upgrades now? I'm a little hesitant to use my hack silver now because I'm worried that I'm gonna get better gear and have wasted a bunch of hack silver on this like low level stuff. Um, so I'll experiment with that a little bit, look into it. But I think for now I'm gonna stick where I am and just hang on to my twenty thousand hack silver. But we'll see. I might just upgrade at the start of the next video. But anyways, this is a fantastic spot to wrap this up. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.